Hello, hello. In this week's video, I'm going to turn these two blankets into a dog bed. So here we go. You first need to decide the size of your dog bed. This of course depends on the size of your dog. I made mine ridiculously large, but I love that about it. Then I laid my two pieces right sides together. This means that the pretty sides are facing each other and the ugly side is facing you. Next, I cut off all of the excess fabric. I will save this because I'm going to use it as stuffing. I want my dog bed to have an oval like shape so I drew quarter circles on to the corners of this dog bed. Um, here is a little picture on the shape that you should draw or pin on your dog bed. The opening here is very important. You will have to put all of the stuffing through this opening so be sure to make it big enough. Mine was 25 centimeters for the lovely inch users on this channel that's 9.8 inches so around 10 inches i pinned myself some sewing guide lines i love these they are like bowling bumpers they make the process of sewing so much easier if you enjoy this video so far then please give it a like as this really helps me in the channel out thank you then I sewn the two pieces together with a simple straight stitch using the guidelines that I just created. Then I cut off the excess fabric. Be sure to keep this as this is handy stuffing. Then I zigzag stitch around the edges. I did this because I want to have the option to wash this. This will probably be too big to be put in my washing machine, but I can take it to a laundry mat if needed. I really don't like things in my house that I can't wash. After this, I turned this around and I fiddled on the corners to make sure that they were perfect. And now it's time for a viewer's request. You've got such amazing talent, it's always interesting to see how you come up with these ideas and how processes smile. Also, I miss your funny dances whenever you used a duvet cover, tears of joy, tears of joy. Now I'm going to add some levels to the dog pad to create some dimensions because dogs really love that. The first level that I added was a casing for a rope. You will see what this rope does on the ends. I drew the guidelines on to the fabric, five centimeters, that's two and a half inches from the edge of the dog pads don't close the opening so don't draw your sewing guidelines onto the opening because you still need it to stuff the dog bed The second level that I'm going to create in this dog bed is in the middle. I drew a line 25 centimeters, that's 10 inches from the edge. Of course, if your dog bed is smaller, you will have to adjust this. I advise on making the second level one third of the size of your dog bed. <laughs> the third level I'm going to create by simply adding a cross in the middle of my dog bed. I made this cross around uh, 15 centimeters, that is a drum roll, around 6 inches. Then I sewn all of these levels on top of the dog bed with a simple straight stitch. You will probably be sewing to a lot of layers of fabric, so go slowly and use a stronger type of needle. The 
before I'm going to stuff this dog bed with all of my fabric scraps, I threaded the rope to the casing that I made for it. I did this by pinning a safety pin to the ends and now I can use this as a guidance. If you have watched this video, you might get a little bit confused about all of the dogs in our house. Let me explain it to you. We actually don't own a dog. Uh, the one you see here right now is the dog of my best friend who is traveling and the other one is one that we co-parent with my family-in-law. We are considering getting a dog of our own, but we want to make a good informed decision and we are not sure yet if we want to buy a new one, to say it that way, or adopt one of the shelter. I have heard both positive and negative experiences uh, from people who adopted shelter dogs, so if you have anything about this subject that you want to share with me, please do it in the comments below as this can really help us make an informed decision. Now it's time to gather all of these scraps that you kept because you were so sure that you were going to make something with them and stuff them inside this dog bed. I started with the inside layer and I stuffed them around the crotch. This took a lot of fabric but I still have double the amount of scraps that I used so I have to come up with another project where I can use this. If you have any inspiration for me please leave this in the comments below. done stuffing the first level so I pinned it and I'm going to sew it closed with a simple straight stitch. Then I stuffed the second layer in the exact same way. You can choose how thick you want to stuff this. I stuffed it into the maximum. So be sure to push the fabric into all sides, especially into the corners. Now I'm going to pin the edge closed. If you added a rope like I did, then I highly recommend that. Then you have to make sure that the rope can still move while you pin this. But this only has to be like a millimeter. So pin it a very, very short part from the edge of the rope and test that you can still move the rope around before you sew this. Before I can sew this, I had to fight the dog off. You can see this in the reflection of the window. Then I started sewing this, but my needle broke. I was like, seriously, it's the last thing you need to sew to end this project. So I added in a new needle and then I could finally close this dog pad with a simple straight stitch. And now the dog bed is finished and the dog claimed it back immediately. I just wanted to show you what the rope does. It gives you the opportunity to pull the dog bed more tight and some dogs really prefer this. And I also think that it makes the end result look more beautiful. So I would recommend that you add the rope. And the dog bed is ready, the dogs are happy. And I hope that you can give this video a quick like as this really does help me and the channel out. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me your opinion on the dog bed down below. Also on the shelter dog thing if you wish to. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.